Okay, so I just want to come on here and share a little bit today. First of all, I just want to say oh, someone had a revelation on YouTube. I can't remember the person, so this is not my own. This is what someone in the faith said about how um, the government are enforcing like hand washing and they've been selling me. They sent some propaganda through the door to do with the coronavirus and how to wash your hands, which to be honest, I thought was a complete insult. <laughs> that was something I was taught very young as a child, cleansing us, how to wash your hands and all those other stuff but they're doing what they do so i wasn't really focusing on that but i i just happened to go through and be studying and reading being in exodus and now i'm in and then i was in philippians now i'm in colossians and i was just noticing how um there was two things i just wanted to point out one is death and the other is philosophy and how is it Shaul, Shaul, Paul? I'm reading the complete Jewish Bible, which is pretty much better than the King James, but it's not. It's better, but yeah, go into that. So anyway, he he's basically saying about, he says in Colossians 2, 8, watch out so that no one will take you captive by means of philosophy and empty deceit following human traditions which accords with the elemental spirits of the world but does not accord with the messiah okay so before that seven it just said remain deeply rooted in him and continue being built up in him and confirmed in your trust the way you were taught so that you will overflow in thanksgiving so that's interesting that one's highlighted as well so you will overflow in thanksgiving because um i basically deleted myself off all i'm not on any social media now apart from youtube because even the people this is not to be disrespectful that were professing faith i'm very discerning there was just a strong spirit of fear and and other other anxiety as well which would be in a, which were attached to them and since i've disconnected from those avenues i have so much peace i can't even explain to you the levels of peace i have I'm just chilling and just really getting into the word. So it was obviously a kept connected to those streams and avenues and those people. So what I want to say is because it was they were still meddling human philosophy, which is the whole hand washing. Like hand washing is nothing new. That's something that's very I'm Hebrew. We've been doing that since the beginning of time in our culture and washing and cleaning. And obviously in the camps, if you go back to Exodus and other stuff, like Yahuwah tells us himself, like if someone's got an unclean discharge, like they need to go outside the camp for seven days um, because they were living in close spaces. So so that's nothing new. Like the government may think that they've come up with this new idea. They haven't come up with nothing new. There's nothing new under the sun. So I understand like those practices, those type of things were being practiced anyway in our culture. I just think it's very interesting how they're making so much emphasis on the washing of the physical hands, but the country, that the nation is spiritually polluted and defiled. Again, this morning, the same thing I'm having in my spirit. If my people will turn from their wicked way, then I will heal their land. That That's all I'm kind of like, that seems to be something that I'm hearing every single day almost. The latest is Boris Johnson is in hospital uh, with allegedly coronavirus and I, I felt that was very interesting because when he released that evil prophecy over the nation and he said that uh, someone from everyone's household would die I was so grieved because I was like do these people know Messiah like it's okay for you to die if you're going to be dying in the Lord that's a joyous thing but if you don't that that's that's not something that some heathen needs to be saying and pronouncing over the nations that's very wicked so no he needs to repent but um so uh, yeah human philosophy there's a lot of that going on i'm going to read this anyway i'm going to read it from 8 down to like 13 so it says watch out so that no one will take you captive by means of philosophy and empty deceit following human traditions which are caused with the elemental spirits and it's obviously the spirits of this world are very much in operation with what's going on it's a distraction and then you've got spirits of fear anxiety chaos confusion all those spirits are rampant in the earth realm right now so of the world but not, does not accord with the messiah for in him see in the messiah bodily lives the fullness of all that yah is 
and it is in union with him that you have been made full. He is the head of every rule and authority. Also, it was in union with him that you were circumcised with a circumcision not done by human hands. So I just think it's like hands are just the word hands and like cleaning and all these kind of buzzwords at the moment are really standing out to me in scripture. Um, but accomplished by stripping away of the old nature's control over the body. Uh, in the circumcision done by the Messiah, you were buried along with him by being emerged. And in union with him, you were also raised up. So ascended, raised up above the matrix, above all the atmosphere of confusion and chaos, raised up in the Messiah. Um, along with the, him by God's faithfulness that worked when he raised Yahshua from the dead. You were dead because of your sins, that is because of your foreskin, your old nature. But Yah made you alive along with the Messiah by forgiving all your sins. He wiped away the bill of charges against you. So that's why I think it's a sad time because that can't be said for people who are outside of covenant with Messiah. They're still, their charges are still being held against them. And it just makes sense, to be honest, why, you know, certain people who are outside of covenant would be affected by these dis diseases and plagues and to be completely honest my point of view in it is i see things very spiritual from a spiritual aspect I i'm very i see things very spiritual sometimes very black and white and in all fairness like i did see some people posting about praying for boris johnson and to be completely honest i just thought well the Almighty gives the breath of life, and if he's going to continue, you know, and have the breath of life in him to just continue to be a vessel of, of, of um, wickedness, just a vessel of dishonor, basically, because you'll use the vessels of dishonor to do, just like you use Satan, basically, to execute the hand of Yahuwah, his judgment, is a vessel of dishonor. It's like, well, unless he's going to repent and his heart's going to be circumcised unto the Lord and he's going to fear the Most High, there is no point in praying for him because he's just going to end up in hell whether it be now or later that's how i see things very black and white so those were my thoughts about praying for him but <clears throat> that's down to the each individual person i'm not going to say whether you should or shouldn't it's completely down to you i know in scriptures it does say that we're to pray for um people in authority and the like but just use wisdom whatever you're led to do with ruach go with that i don't feel led at all Okay, so so then it goes on to say, stripping the rulers and authorities of their power, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them by means of the stake. And I just want to highlight and pick out a few other points. I don't want this to go on too long. Uh, it says, so it says then, going on to 18, don't let anyone deny you the prize by insisting that you engage in self-mortification or angel wor worship. Uh, such people are always going on about some vision. They are vainly puffed up, blah, blah, blah. Just to skip that, because it's not blah, 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 but I don't need that part. What, like the essence I'm trying to say with that is like self-imposed things that we think, basically tradition, man-made traditions and teachings that we think can actually perform righteousness and, and and something else came into my spirit the other day and it was kind of like this is kind of like a pharisee like the government are kind of a little bit turning into like a pharisee kind of scenario because i i remember how they even jesus went to eat somewhere in a house and they accused him they said he didn't wash his hands and he was unclean because he didn't wash his hands before he ate and he basically said to them well it's not what goes into a man that makes him unclean, basically. It's what comes out of him from the heart. So I was like, again, the irony, the hypocrisy is these religious leaders are like telling people to clean their hands and do all, do all this other stuff, but they're full of, full of wickedness and dead men's bones. Like they don't up, uphold Torah. They don't uphold the laws of Yahweh. And I, I just found that very, very interesting. So just to finish then, it goes on. So these are other things that Sheol Paul's warning against people who will say, don't touch this, don't eat that, don't handle the other. And he says such pro prohibitions are concerned with things meant to perish by be being used, not by being avoided. And they are based on man-made rules and teachings. They do indeed have the outward appearance of wisdom with their self-imposed religious observance, false humility, 
And that's exactly when I was reading that like coronavirus article uh, from the government, it, it did. It was just like, I, I just, I was so like, I was righteously angry. It, it To me, it was kind of like, it was false humility, like a false form of humility. Like it seems okay, it seems logical, but it's cursed because it's got no, washing your hands can't take away the angel of death. It's never going to happen. So it was kind of that deceived knowledge. Um. So yeah, that is what I'm going to end on. That was it.